A 2-1 win over Toulouse in week 36 was enough to guarantee Marseille second place in Ligue 1 and no less than they deserved after spending 35 weeks on the podium this season. And after coming in at 10th in the previous term, Marseille got off to a dream start with six wins in their first six games. And the early part of their season was marked by André Pierre Gignac's remarkable return to form. Their striker was a man in confidence to judge by this superb strike against Rennes and a brace against Paris Saint-Germain helped to banish the memories of last season when he scored just a single goal. He was up to five within the first eight games. Well, things took a turn for the worst when Marseille were beaten 1-0 away by strugglers at Troyes. In one fell swoop, OM lost the match, top spot in the league and more importantly Gignac to a foot injury that would keep him sidelined for the next two months. None could question the grit and determination of Eli Bope's side, but they were lacking in depth. A mixed November saw them get the better of Ajaxio and Lille, but go down to Bordeaux and Lyon. They up their game ahead of the winter break, though, with three straight wins over Bastia, Toulouse and Saint-Étienne. Match of Albuena sinking the Corsicans with this stunning volley. The returning Gignac then claimed the only goal of the game against his former club, Toulouse, and that wasn't a bad strike either. Gignac with his sixth of the season, he would go on to score 13, his best return since the 2008-2009 campaign with Toulouse. And one goal was enough to dispatch Saint-Étienne. Andreu got up to nod it in, which is hardly a surprise. Of the Ghanaian internationals, nine goals this season, five were scored with the head. Marseille third going into the break then, level on points with Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain. And they were a model of consistency in the season's final months. Between weeks 27 and 36, they didn't lose a single game in Ligue 1 and hardly conceded a goal. A remarkable 18 of their 21 wins this season were by a single goal margin and they won 12 of their games 1-0. And it wasn't just Gignac who helped Marseille to second place. Benoit Cheru also played his part with this fine free kick here against Brest. As did Valbuena. The French international may have only scored three goals this season, but his 12 assists made him the joint best passer in Ligue 1 and very valuable for Marseille. Well, top teams also need a top goalkeeper, and France number two, Steve Mandanda, managed to go seven games without conceding a single goal in the home stretch. So in the final game of the season, the Velodrome was able to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Marseille's European Cup win over AC Milan, but also their qualification for next season's Champions League. Credit should certainly go to Eli Boat for managing to get the best out of this Marseille squad then, which is set to be reinforced over the summer.